Hello everybody, we will be starting in six minutes. We'll be starting in four minutes, and if you have any questions, please, uh, you can write it even right now.
Hello guys, uh, we will be running uh, uh, this show in one minute, something like that, just to see uh, see everybody here, and we are we will be online. Okay. So hello everybody, uh, we're back. Uh, if you have followed us uh, last Friday, uh, right now we uh, will be uh, working, uh, continuing to work on, yeah. And here we have our friend from Unity. Uh, she's uh, uh, Antonia Forster. Uh, and she will guide me and uh, ask questions or respond to some questions from you guys. And I hope that we will have a nice time. Uh, so, yeah, uh, sorry, because uh, today, uh, no, in these days, uh, I have updated my equ equipment, so I'm pretty new to my... Uh, how to say, uh, features, so I'm just like uh, trying to, yeah, to show her name, okay. So Antonia Forster, thank you Antonia for coming back and uh, thank you for being with us. Thanks a lot, and, and thanks to the people in the chat for saying that the, my microphone is cool. I appreciate it. It's unnecessarily flashy, but I like it. Um, yeah, I don't know so much about guiding you, Oliver. I feel like you know very well what you're doing, but um, I'm very happy to be moderating the chat, so I'll be keeping an eye there. Um, I'll be answering in the chat as well as um, posing questions to Oliver, although I know you have a lot of things you want to get through today, Oliver, so I'll try not to uh, ask too many questions, so I'll, we'll actually be able to get to the end of our scene. Um, but yeah, we'll be discussing things like um, ray tracing, the future of real time, and we'll be developing uh, more details in our scene today. So hopefully you caught our last episode where we started building uh, a subway station with some neon lights that respond to sound and music in real time. That's uh, basically as far as we got last time. And so we'll just be building on top of that today. So I really look forward to it. And thank you all so much for joining us. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, also, yeah, uh, it's not about moderating a chat because a chat, uh, it's, you should moderate me, you know, like, because when I start speaking, I can lose myself and, and, and uh, uh, start to speak too much. So, yeah, uh, you should help me to come back to my work. So, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, and also in these times, like in the COVID situation, uh, when I'm down in my basement, in my studio, and I don't meet people, it's really hard to not to try to speak too much. Uh, 
<laughs> because we don't have any uh, more any social contact so yeah this is some some kind of a social contact okay so uh, let's go back to our uh, scene where we left last time and uh, as i have watched a uh, few times our video i have noticed that there are maybe some things that uh, that I wanted to uh, to point out, but I didn't point out. So uh, one of the most important things, as you know that I'm using here, a chroma keying systems, is how to set up uh, a chroma keying system in a, a good way. So what is uh, actually really important for any chroma keying is uh, source file uh, source file or source uh, source stream from a camera so for this reason i will just uh, explain few things that uh, are maybe known but or maybe or many times are known one of the things uh, that are really important is that your camera has to be a, a kind of a professional camera. It's, it's, it doesn't have to be professional, uh, absolutely professional camera, but you have to tune your camera to do these things. Uh, when working with chroma key, why, for example, why why many cameras like webcams doesn't work well, very well? Because they are always applying some kind of a, of a post processing to an image, and one of the biggest reasons of uh, how to say uh, footage that doesn't work for chroma key is. Uh, one feature that many cameras, mostly consumer cameras, use is, that is a sharpening. So if you have, for example, a webcam or if you use any DSLR or anything similar, you have to turn down sharpening. Sh sharpening will give you a better image. So uh, like in, in print. I will show you, for example, here in the Photoshop, uh, what it means, uh, what is uh, sharpening. So uh, it's actually a simple blur that is overlaid over the top of uh, of uh, of an image. Let me see here. Okay, so we have here Photoshop. We can open any image. Let me see if I have something here that... Uh, yeah, let's take this image from here, okay. So look at it now, right now, at uh, these pixels. If I have apply uh, unsharp mask, that is a, a way of a sharpening, you can see that I can set this radius, and I hope that it can be seen really... No, it it can be. Uh, I'm not sure how how much we can see it on a on a, on a YouTube. Antonia, do you see some difference? I just uh, okay. Unsharp mask. You can see right now that it's adding this contrast to an image. But this contrast is a thing that you don't want to have. So this is something that perceptively can look really well you know, on a on a print if I small uh, if I, but you can see that it will create uh, this rounded effect and most cameras are using this internally and it comes uh, even TV professional TV cameras use it so uh, this is one of the most important things to avoid when shooting editing with 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 uh, with chroma key. Uh, so when you 
when you use a camera, so you you will probably have a possibility to control this sharpening system. So you, you can just dial it down and say, okay, don't sharpen anything. Uh, image will look much duller and uh, much less sharp, but then you can use a sharpen inside Unity that will bring up those those values. So. Uh, Another thing that probably uh, is important is that you want the uh, most best dynamic range. What it means that you have to use flat profiles. Uh, if you're using cameras uh, like Blackmagic, they are already tuned to work with that kind of, uh, uh, of, of imaging. If you use professional cameras, but also many, many uh, consumer cameras have a possibility to use HDR, they call it HDR sometimes, they call it sometimes flat profiles, so use always those profiles. And from there on, uh, everything becomes much easier to deal with. Uh, when dealing with chroma key. So yeah, uh, these are the few things. Uh, uh, also, what is important, avoid motion blur. So maybe use a camera in 60 frames per second if your computer can uh, process it in real time. Because, uh, and with shutter speeds that are really low. So uh, you want to avoid any motion blur. You look my head here. We, uh, it's impossible because I, I would have to slow down. But uh, actually, while making uh, something that is filmic, you want a motion blur. When you're sh shooting uh, uh, chroma key, you don't want it. As you don't want too much of uh, of uh, of a dep uh, uh, shallow dep depth of field, so you want to all your image to be sharp. So you have to close down your aperture, uh, aperture on the, on the camera. Other than that, I don't think that there are too many things that are important. Of course, like position your uh, actor uh, a little bit behind us, uh, in front of a screen so that you have always some kind of a distance between a uh, chroma key screen, like, let me see if, uh, here I have some, some kind of distance. Even this distance isn't the perfect distance. I would have to have something like three meters. But uh, in this case, I have something like two meters, okay. But it can work pretty well because you want to avoid any uh, uh, light leaks. Anyway, from here on, I will be. Uh, yeah, I will let you just see what are we doing here. We are going back to our uh, to our project, and uh, yeah, right now you can see that my <laughs> actor is. Uh, upside down, so I will show you why it is, because I have set up my camera. Let me just go uh, to the screen. Can you, can you hear me, see me? Okay, I think that you should. So my camera right now is uh, oriented horizontally, horizontally. So it was like, uh, let me see, yeah, okay, yeah, you can, you just have to watch, okay, it was oriented like this, but I want to orient it like this, because in this case, it will give me much better quality of image. I want, I just want to have a possibility to use a whole image and to set it some, to something like that, so that I can cover whole body or 
person. Uh, sorry, I don't, yeah, you can see right now here, that right now I have rotated my image and I have a whole person that covers my screen, my virtual screen. Like this is a feed from a camera that comes in. So if I look uh, here at, uh, at the stream, You'll see that it's, wait a second, where it was, uh, yeah, from a key plane, this one. Uh, you can see that I have this image here. I also have some garbage here that isn't perfect, but never mind. So let's configure my plugin. I will have to go back to... Uh, into a studio and remove my model. Yeah, with real model, it will be really simple. Just tell you, oh, okay, remove from, uh, move just a little bit. But right now I have to move it by myself. So sorry for waiting. One day, Just sampling the by 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 seeing capture clean mate. Okay, so in this case, this clean mate is just an image that we can see here that was captured by by my system, and then I can uh, set it. Uh, it Oliver, a, you're not showing the screen at the moment. If oh, that's sorry, your sorry. Oh, okay, great, 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 great. Okay, so cheers. Uh, yeah, thank you. I need. Okay, so this is an image. This is a garbage, uh, so-called... Uh, I don't actually know how it's called. Uh, it's uh, some kind of garbage mate. So, uh, difference mate. Yeah. Sometimes it's called difference mate. So, when my camera will see this image, uh, I will show you, like... This is a simple example. How does it work, actually? Imagine we have... Ah, sorry, my zoom went... By. Okay, imagine that we have this image... Inver we can invert this image. Sorry. Invert. Uh, how it was? Okay. So this is inverted version. So, like... What is black uh, becomes white, what is white becomes black. If I have under this original image, and if I do a simple addition, uh, and it should be uh, called, uh, sorry, in the, uh, 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 sorry, how it, how it was called in the, yeah, uh, light and screen, uh, overlay, no. Sorry, how it was called in, in, in uh, yeah, because in my math, it, it's just uh, like uh, addition. So, normal is all little bird, no dark in color. Let, let me just pass all, all those ones and you will see when I come to, a, okay. Okay. No. Okay, this is a vivid light. It, they call it like this. Why they should call it add, add, I don't know. So, practically, this image right now cancels original image. So you're getting gray lights. And anyway, uh, uh, yeah, this is, a, this is a trick. So I'm just comparing what comes into my camera and then canceling that background from a from original file. So 
in this case, when I activate this uh, chroma key here, okay, I will have to activate the bait key, you will see that everything disappears because it sees that. And right now I can go back there and show, uh, yeah, and put a person there. I think that it should work now. Let me see. Let me control it. Uh, no, no, okay. It doesn't work still because I have to. Uh, wait a second, okay. So right now I can here close webcam open. So I have to just set up a little bit of this keying system so that it shows. And you can see right now that if I bring down all those values, it will bring a person back to uh, back to a seat okay but without showing too much of uh, of problematic areas of course there are some some areas that that have to it has to be fixed and this is usually fixed by just setting up a little bit of contrast before processing and then Moving, uh, so you know, it's like chroma keying is uh, is a uh, isn't a process that works in two seconds. Okay, so for anybody who who works in a in a in a video industry will know that most of the time chroma keying is done for hours and hours. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more simple by using some some new some kind of new approach. So it's of course they they aren't always perfect, but yeah. Okay, so yeah, this is something that I will be just bringing it. Okay, something like that, and then uh, just checking out what is going on. For example, here we have right now. A little bit of uh, of, a, of a cast, and uh, I will try just to just like use something like Despil Chroma that uh, and Despil Luma that that will uh, bring down all those errors that are there due to uh, to a lighting. So it's it's uh, yeah it's not an exact side. So it, you always have to uh, just work work on uh, and, and try to okay green cast removal for example. This will remove uh, any green cast that I have. So but uh, you can see also that I, that it adds some no it, it doesn't there. But as I'm working here, I have to. Uh, yeah, green cast remove. Okay, I will take this here, and then that will be okay. Threshold. I'll be moving this one on and off. So just to find the right values, where my contours doesn't show too much, and uh, where where everything actually works. So maybe yeah, something like that. Even it's better. As I'm going down with a value, I can bring up this type of thing. I can have a better... Uh, I want to get some smooth edges. So yeah, this is... A I could tell that this, this should work pretty well in my case. We should go probably on a the final screen and then just use this one. White balance and then I have that I ha will have to tune a little bit of uh of a lightning here. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
just just checking the comments so that yeah, can, uh, um so one of the comments was uh when is the Deckard get Deckard Kia sorry going to be yeah, yeah, available yeah, 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 yeah. I'm hoping to, yeah, I'm just doing last uh, tunes, uh, like last tuning on this and uh, some better testing because it's, I want to make it e as easy as possible to use. So, yeah, it's. Uh... And you you mentioned last time that um, releasing a, releasing an asset, if it's not finely tuned, can actually be a bit of a, a problem later because then you get a lot of yeah. contact for support whereas yeah. if you spend a lot of time making sure it works very robustly um it actually kind of frees you up later because people won't have as many uh queries so yeah. it makes a lot of sense and so, it also yeah, of, of, rush these things. it also as you probably know you like uh, also when uh, it's always like that you have to, it's better to understand really what are necessities of uh, of uh of a tool so that uh, when you come out uh, you don't have to go back and change some things that maybe uh, later will break everything in a in a system so this is my main concern for example uh, as as my latest uh, chroma key that i made just like uh, yesterday isn't compatible with with older so i had uh, i have to re uh, you know, re-reset everything, reset everything. Uh, and for example, I was using before. I was using this kind of special materials that uh, would create normals. But right now, I'm just exporting normals directly from from Chroma here, so I can use a different type of materials. I, I'm not uh, tied to uh, to any kind. Of a special material in Unity, so it's like, oh. uh, yeah, there there are many things that that are you have always to think about everything like that. So yeah. I, 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 I um, on the subject of. Sorry, uh, on the subject of chroma keying, um, I know that you've done some work with uh, chroma keying um, reflective materials as well. So, say a person wearing armor. I, I think I saw one of the. Um, is that correct? Is that something you've done? Maybe it's, it's something I saw in my research. Um, do you find that that's particularly challenging if you have, you know, reflective surfaces or? Um, also, I know recently you, you, you were doing some tests um, that I saw on Twitter with like tr um, transparent materials or semi-transparent materials. Yeah, that yeah. must be really challenging, yeah. especially. Um, and things like fine lines and hair as well, I know can be quite a challenge. So uh, This um, is a, uh, yeah, uh, 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 I can show you right now, for example. Yeah, uh, I was tuning there uh, by project, but uh, you can see this, this contour i know but no sorry but this contour is just because of selection outline okay yeah so it, it wasn't real uh main problem in real-time graphics is uh, that uh, I, I will show you right now here i'm not sure no it can't be seen this view i have to move my camera uh a little bit upside a problem is always with transparent surfaces. So, uh, because uh, it's not only in real time; it's also in compositing when you're working on a on a movie type of things and things like that. Is that uh, transparent, semi-transparent surfaces? So it it means that it's not like black, uh, like absolutely transparent and absolutely not transparent doesn't those surfaces that are semi-transparent and it's called like transparent material in unity so you always have this transparent material uh, they can't be right uh, written in a depth buffer a depth buffer decides how to shade everything so transparent surfaces are really big difficult to render okay so what uh 
I'm actually uh, so they watch show uh, either either uh, in ray trace they would show in the uh, in the uh, is sub 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 sorry uh screen space uh, reflections they will show even in the shadows so what you have to do what i'm actually doing here is that i'm having, i'm getting uh, i'm creating two planes and one is a hard uh one is a soft uh, let me show you here so You can see that, no, I, I will turn off this plane. You can see that this plane here is a soft plane. So I have all values between uh, these values, okay? If I turn off this mesh render and activate only this, you will see that I only can have uh, those, this kind of edges. So what I'm doing actually is I'm combining one and the other. So if I overlay uh, this one to this one, I have something in between and I can control it. And also if I go here, I can also control how much of that opaque material is there and how much is Better. So this opaque material will be uh, will serve for cr casting shadows, will serve for uh, generating the reflections, and this the other material will serve just for uh, yeah, just for, uh, for 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 having these nice edges, you know. So this is something that is really important. So. You can see right now that it looks uh, a little bit better. Yeah, if I change this, and then I can tune somewhat better this material. So yeah, this way I don't have any, almost don't have any smooth edge. But uh, then, okay, uh, then I will tune something, uh, something more and less. Okay, so yeah. You can see right now that this my that plane goes up and down as I tune it because it sees that my uh, legs, like, are on the other uh, part of the world, uh, like of, of the image, and that it tries to position my person. Uh, i have a problem here because I have a uh, small space, so I have too much cast of a, of, a, of an image. Also, I have here probably, uh, I, will, I will fix that later. Uh, I have here some change here, refraction material. It's not too much important, but anyway, okay. Uh, no, I will, I will actually, because I want to have uh, here some, some reflections, I will actually add here a material that has a little bit of uh, opaque, okay, and yeah. Yeah, I will, I will have to tune it a little bit later. I'm not sure why it doesn't show how it should. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah, because I for probably I forgot here to set. Uh, uh, I have to set here my uh, screen space uh, reflections, ray tracing. Let me see. Yeah, it, you can see right now that I have correct reflections, but I still don't have here correct reflections. Yeah, we have to... Uh, table, okay, no. For a moment, yeah, uh, I will keep it like that and then I will be coming back to just, just to understand what could be here wrong, because sometimes you 
you are using some some settings and uh, on material and then there are a few few things that ah okay never mind for for a moment it, it works like this okay so i have this reflection that i wanted and i have this okay let's come back to my scene i want to add some more lights because my idea was that uh, we are going from uh, following a person that will be in front of the screen that is coming down the stairs, okay? When it comes here at this point, uh, let's, let's move this uh, display here somewhere, okay? We want to activate maybe some other lights. Let's create a few lights. One of those will be a spotlight. And here comes a spotlight that are classical for video concerts. They are really nice to make. And here I will show you a few tricks about these things because they can be sometimes pretty hard to set up in a in HDRP. Okay. This is a person, this is a spotlight, okay. So I want to enable here, it, it is always uh, already enabled volumetrics, but I want to multiply it to create a ray of light that will be typical for, for, a, for a stage, okay. So something like this. But you will see also that yeah, I have to enable shadow map and then I can move it here and I will have to bring up intensity. So if I move this light, you can see nice effect that I can get here. But you will also see a lot of pixelating. So one of the things that we have to do here uh, of course, I would just tune it a little bit to my scene because that white light was really wasn't nice. Resolution, I will take it to higher or oh, let me see old ultra. No, it doesn't change too much. Uh, so I will keep it as low as possible while having a good performance. You will also see that if I move this light, you see this pixelization here around this corner. I'm not sure how, how much you can see it on the. On the it's, it's quite hard to see the pixelization, honestly, or the, the pixelation, sorry. Uh, sp um, yeah, I will just, yeah, you can see it right. right okay, there. yeah, it's visible okay, now. Yeah. Okay, it's visible now. So there are some tricks that I have discovered just uh, lately. Uh, yeah, they are new to HDRP. Uh, that, that you have to activate also reflector. So this will give you some, t uh, some better, how to say, you will have always a pixelization, but you will have a more visible uh, light. And then you have to go into a uh, Camera, uh, no, wait, uh, oh, sorry, where it was. Okay, no. I have to go into uh, Sky and Fog volume that I've set up in the first uh, place. Uh, if you didn't see it, look at uh, the last stream. And we have this fog. So it's everything done right now from the fog. And here I can set uh, first of everything that I want to set is a volumetric distance, fog distance. So you will see that if I bring down this distance, no, it doesn't change anything. It should change <laughs> something, but no, no, no. Okay, no, it doesn't change. Okay, I forgot it. Uh, denoising mode I have to change, okay. Rep reprojection, 
And right now you can see that it's much better. So right now it works in the re reprojection mode and if I move this light it is much but also this, this comes with a problem that it works a little bit slower so you can see that it leaves a trail but in some cases for example like uh, in the concert cases it could be actually a, a really nice effect we could use it even for something that we we need so yeah, I will just uh, bring it here and I will show you the next trick. It is a really great trick. Trick. Uh, it's a great feature in Unity. We can use here cookies. So if you have uh, cookies exist from from since Unity, I don't know five, I think. Uh, where you can set up your image that should be uh, source light, but they were to the color. So in this case, I'm just adding a simple texture. You can see it, it here, like like this. Okay. I'm adding this texture inside my cookie, and you will see that it creates this light that is a. Uh, practically a projector. So I can use this slide to uh, to create many effects here. And we will be using this one to to make some some nice effects. Just to add some some kind. Okay, then co let's come back to uh, Okay, let's come back to a stage design because, uh, as I said, we are working here just from a scratch, so we don't. Uh, Unity serves here as a uh, sketch uh, sketchboard, so that we can try things that maybe otherwise would be too hard to do. So I will try just to make some kind of a stage that maybe is somewhat interesting so let's yeah I was thinking about making uh, something that yeah just simple cubes nothing nothing too much nothing too special nothing too too complicated because we don't have a time of course and, and everything here will be done in a these few hours, of course. So, yeah, the, this is some kind of idea that I had. Like setting up a little bit of... Uh... Yeah, so I, we are here. Okay. And just like this, we have a much better environment. I don't know. Do we like it or no? I think I... I think it looks great. I mean, I, I'm still convinced this is a, a Eurovision stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm just really bitter about last year's one being cancelled. So I think yeah. we should just bring our own Eurovision to life. That's yeah, what I think this is going to be in my mind. <laughs> oh, someone said Blade Runner. It does actually have, yeah, Blade yeah, Runner sort it, of a uh, Yeah, yeah, actually it has also, but yeah. That's much more classy. <laughs> uh what Eurovision? <laughs> yeah, Eurovision's not very classy. Blade no, no, Runner's no, more no. of like a Eurovision, high brow. Right? No, Eurovision <laughs> is more classy. Yeah. It's not. It's definitely not classy. It's fun. No, I'm, I'm, I'm distracting I'm you. Joking. I'm distracting yeah, you. I'll yeah, let yeah. you get back. <laughs> so yeah, and then uh, maybe I don't know, making some some lights like that, uh, putting the the. Yeah, we will see where where will this go because it's like okay, we are here in the virtual world. We have uh, plenty of performance, and we can try many things. This is why, you know, uh, as I have worked a lot on the stage design and, and, and things like that, I, I uh, in the in events industry, I know that uh, most of the people are using. Uh, 
computers that you know render for for hours and hours to simulate something like that. In this case, we are actually simulating everything in, in real time. So you you can have a great idea about what will happen with with the scene. So one of the things, for example, here is that we don't have global illumination. But as I said before, when using area lights, global illumination isn't so needed. You actually don't need it too much because you don't have too much need for it. I would just add some kind of, uh, how to say, area light here, okay. And this is everything just before, uh, like, we are doing this even without any uh, color correction that I want to just to, to speak about because I, I know that many people doesn't use color correction, but color correction is a really important thing in a, in any kind of visual work. So you will have to, yeah, we will we will come back to color correction later. So let me see. I have here some kind of concrete. Uh, I don't know what I can put here. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, something like that. Uh, zero point one. I don't want too much of a smoothness. Yeah, something like that. J just to add a little bit of of three dimensionality, I have created this material. So yeah, I will be assigning this material to everything that is here. Just to give a, a little bit of. A, yeah, in Unity it's like, okay, drag and drop to uh, to material. Okay. So this should be... This should be our seed. I'm not sure about this plane here. So yeah, because it is yeah, it's too large. I would just be bringing it down a little bit. Okay. Okay, I, I, I have missed here. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, concrete. Okay, so let me see how these lights re react to music. To music, no, to voice. Ah, hello, hello. Okay, yeah, so we have here a light that works on. A, okay. So now what we have to do is to decide a little bit to uh, change those lines because of course it's not a perfect solution and it's not uh, something that we actually wanted like that. But uh, okay, and then maybe, uh, okay, one of the tricks that I could use even just to add some, some little bit of... Uh, a structure to my seed is that I want to add these lights, for example, here and then rotate it a little bit. Let me see, like this. Okay, and then like this. And then we will just change uh, because right now this material casts shadows, but here I don't need uh, actually shadows. So just for simplicity, we don't want to, uh, to use too many shadows and things like that. Yeah. But we can use it like this and change some colors and uh, I don't know. Later we'll decide about colors, I think. We have put it there, so it's... Yeah, these are area lights in the, in the HDRP are really big thing, you know. They simplify things and even if right now we don't have an, any kind of efficient global illumination, but those lights work really great. So, 
Uh, let me see here. We have. What do you think? Well, uh, one. one. Okay, this light goes there. Okay, I will right now try to, for example, take those two lights and, and assign to them with my uh, with my with K Zero's uh, plugin. Uh, uh, how it's called? Where it was? I don't remember anymore. You know, like when you okay. Audio level tracker. Okay, I will add another duplicate this one because I want different properties for those trackers. So I will be adding here uh, this one and then adding. Uh, okay, let's move. I'm sorry because I'm. Okay, so I will be adding adding this light tracker. Let me see here, area light, four, okay. Uh, light, property color, and I will be just inverting these colors. Let me see something like that. Just to see how it looks like. Uh, dynamic range, channel, okay. So, Right now, when another light turns off, it should be, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. So this is, a, this is a cool thing, okay, I think. So we could, one, 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 okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Filter type, yeah, we could also use uh 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 do 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 okay so <laughs> i'm enjoying this music <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's getting uh so yeah i could uh, even try to make some complementary colors so if we have here red then we could say this one is blue so let's see what what happens in that case. I think that we could... Yeah, ah, ah, okay, so... Uh, no, maybe we should go a little... Oh, see, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is okay, I think. And then we, we could just... Uh, let me see where we are here. Game object, yeah. Okay. Then assign the same thing for uh, for this other light that is called. No wait, second. Okay. Let's bring it down. Area light. Uh, property color. Okay. So these two should be well. Okay, so right now we 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 should have some symmetry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this is a pretty. Let's bring it a little bit down. I've just experimented, so it's from a start. It's always. Uh, as I really don't have any ideas, what are we doing? <laughs> no, what is, uh, you know, we are trying to achieve something uh, that, that we can like. Okay, so let's set something to, to colors that are, that match, uh, some Kubrick style also, yeah, probably. And, oh, okay. I'm thinking right now about composition. And even doing something like this. Yields that follow this. Uh, 
So even if we don't have any global illumination, you can see how much reflections, green space reflections and uh, all those other things and uh, area lights add to some kind of uh, for global illumination feeling, I think. And then, uh, yeah. Okay, let's go here and add also those, these two lights. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. For these two lights, I will assign them to a same game object that was controlling uh, this first light. So I will be just adding this at add property binder. Uh, Low uh, yeah. color. No, okay, color property. Yeah, just yeah, right, right. So uh, I will be adding area light to this, just so that I can uh, see it better. Okay, area light to this. Okay, so I will be just assigning. Uh, this color binder transform light okay property color and uh, yeah for a moment we can take it like this red red and okay and then the same thing for uh, this one at property binder color uh, let's drag and drop this object, light, property, color, okay, and set it to, set it to red, okay. So yeah, uh, right now we have, well, duh. one, two, three, four, five, okay. So this, I think, looks much better. That yeah. looks great. Yeah. Yeah, so the, and this is something that really, I, I, I have used the Unity with those, with similar things for years, you know, for, for doing some, some events. And actually many of them, uh, when I just simulated them, were like exactly the same. Uh, in a in a in, in original scene, you no. Know, one of the best events that I did probably that I liked mostly, because it was like MTV Music Awards here in Italy, and we even won a, a award for best a best event award, and it was like. Uh, Everything, oh, but everything was done with lead walls and things like that. So we have to show a client, MTV in this case, uh, to show a client how it will look because, because it was really difficult to describe, you know, when you have everything that is uh, in uh, like virtual production, 360 degrees around you with lead walls, you have to show them how, how it will look. So we used uh, Oculus Rift and simulated everything in, a, in a real time. And it was a really great event, Work, worked really, really well. And in, in that case, for example, I have used uh, Unity controlled by uh, DJs and by public. So anyone from public could uh, take a iPad and turn something on, you know. Okay, one, two. Oh, yeah, this looks right. Uh, I just need probably those two lights to be a little bit uh, more... You need to switch back to uh, showing your screen again, I think. Oh, sorry, um, But sorry, also, sorry. I didn't oh, know that oh, you had oh. done that. I didn't know that you'd created the digital content for European MTV award like as an after party oh, yeah, in unity yeah, yeah. that is so cool yeah, yeah it was uh, 
Yeah, everything was done in unity. And really, it was a pretty hard thing to at that time because it was like something like four years ago. It was really hard to uh, to explain to people what it's all all about. Unfortunately, they you know they trusted me and they uh, they just wanted to do it. You know, like. Uh, and it was a good thing, but but uh, almost at, at at the last end, uh, everybody everybody was like, "Oh, can we survive with this? <laughs> what will happen you know, <laughs> if something explodes?" You know, that's really cool. I'm looking at pictures of it now. It looks very very cool. Yes. I did not know you had done this. It was yeah. very impressive. Unfortunately, I, I don't have too much footages, uh, good footages about that. But really, it was, it, yeah, it was one of the. It was really great, you know. <laughs> and I'm, uh, and I'm actually, I'm, I'm always never satisfied with my work, my own work. I always know what could be, you know, done better or. or uh, but in, the, in that case, I, I really liked it. So, yeah, uh, let's go back here and let's see how this reacts to a music. We are here on the radio. <laughs> no. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then we will have... I wouldn't go too much uh, to further... Uh, no. Yeah, I want to go further... Uh, one of the things, yeah, we created that light that we want to animate right now. Those lights that should simulate some kind of... Uh, but uh, instead of scripting, because sometimes the scripting can be, uh, you know, it's a slow thing, so I would like to uh, to be able to to do this in a... Oh, do we have any comments here so that I can, if I can respond to someone else? Oh, we're having a good I'll old chat show. in the comments about different um, different plugins and different ways to get into XR as a career. There's a lot of chat going on. Um, people are saying that they didn't realize you were such an accomplished beatboxer. So. <laughs> oh, yeah, beatboxer. Okay, yeah, so, yeah. Great, great. I will be just showing something, some of my comment, some of the comments. Uh, okay. So yeah, we were talking about different ways to get into um, into being a Unity developer, um, or even working at Unity, uh, and yeah. and the fact that there are many paths to that. It doesn't. Uh, if anyone's watching who doesn't have a computer science degree, uh, I don't have one either. Um, I taught I myself have, Unity. I don't have. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> so it's definitely not a prerequisite to end up working in this field. Um, but, it, you know, it can be helpful if that's what you want to learn. But it's, uh, you know, a lot of developers are self-taught. I imagine uh, most people here probably have some developer experience, um, if not in their role, then uh, in their own time because they're watching the stream. Like, never be afraid to, to dive in and learn mm -hmm. that way. Uh, and people are talking about different uh, plugins and packages that they're using, um, talking a little bit about XR, uh, and also giving me some very useful feedback about uh, Unity's virtual production tools. So um, if, it, if I didn't make it clear before, I'm always really keen to get uh, community feedback and user feedback because uh, you all will have much more specific experience than I will in virtual mm -hmm. production. So it's really helpful to hear from the community at large about uh, what, what works really well, what doesn't work so well and could be improved, uh, what you'd like to see in future so we know where to focus our efforts. So I always welcome that feedback. Uh, and you can find me, of course, on Twitter and on LinkedIn um, and also Oliver on uh, LinkedIn and Twitter if you have kind of comments about the specific things we're developing in these lessons. So, um, yeah, I always welcome feedback. I, I really like talking with, with you all in the chat. It's been, it's been really good. Um, but no specific questions for you, I don't think, about the process. So oh, okay. I think you're good. Okay, so uh, let me see here. Okay, so right now I'm just making here some new things. Uh, some new things. It's like implementing those lights that I spoke about. So 
Let's see how we can animate those lines. I would like to control just one thing because I'm not sure. I don't remember because uh, last uh, when I used uh, for last time the last pro from Kejiro, it was uh, many time ago. So yeah, uh, just to avoid to, to create some some, some some other scripts and things like that, I will just try to use uh, that one. Okay, so. We have here color property builder. Uh, let me see. Float. Uh, no, wait. Add property builder. Float. Uh, yeah. In this case, we will have. Oh, maybe we could try this one. L rotation. Uh, let's try this one. Let's see what happens. Transform property. Uh, rotation okay so I will have to go from one value to another and this will be tricky to set up so we will have to write here let me see one two one okay so we will have to move one two one two oh no this is one 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 Uh, sorry guys, I have to but it it does just rotation no. uh it's it's pretty hard to set up like this. So I will have probably to uh, read here uh, values. Oh my god. Uh, two seventy five or to be oh, yeah. let's let's use it like this. In this case, we don't have uh, too much choice. Okay, so uh, spotlight, yeah, where it was, uh, it was this, and then we had a value at 180. Let's see right now what goes on. Ah. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, correct. Thing. So let's move this. Uh, yeah, I will have just to check it in this way. This is a value of uh, 10. Okay, so it's minus 90, no, minus 63. And here is zero. Okay. So we will be setting properties to uh, minus, no, value at zero, uh, minus 90. I think that 180. Okay, this should be probably. <laughs> yeah, but it's too fast. Okay, so. You can see right now that it works as we. Yeah, I'm just trying here to simulate. Uh, to sorry for for sound, but. Okay, so yeah, this could be, but I will just drop it down, and I will. Uh, no, yeah, I will have to set here from this seventy. Unfortunately, it doesn't uh, it doesn't react in real time so all the changes so yeah I have to to work on it okay I think but at the end I think that this should be pretty okay uh, unfortunately I can copy you on this one uh, add uh, L rotation, so we will add also to this another light that we have here, area light 7, area light 6. So we will set this up to, uh, okay, no, target here, yeah. area light, oh no, okay, why we have, oh no, like, 
seven, six, seven, six. Area light six, area light seven. Okay, yeah. So, sorry guys, this is a little bit rotation, transform, light. Uh, oh, I, yeah, I should do do it much better. Okay, I have an idea. Create empty. Yeah, because that's why we have we had there uh, local rotations. So if I put here an object. And I said that this object is uh, like my holder, and then I will be just adding another light uh, 3D object. Uh, okay, uh, no. Yeah, we have to set this to 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, yeah, this is a perfect thing. Okay, this is the best way to do it. So I'll be just moving this object here, and then. No, what is it? No, uh, I have applied it to a wrong light. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so this, yeah, I have to apply it here. Create empty. So this is uh, my holder, and so that we have here. Okay, and right now, if I set here a rotation to zero, 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 position to zero, 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 okay. I can move my object here. So these are all hacks uh, somewhat, but yeah. Uh, and yeah, this way I can work with, on this better. And then I go here and say that this is a local rotation. So spotlight number one has to be rotated locally. And uh, here. Here we can say just value at zero, zero, okay. And then we want to rotate it maximum 60 degrees, okay. And we can check it right now. Okay, one, two, one, two, okay. So this is a more or less what will be happening in a real life. So when you have a disco club, okay, so this is... One, two. Yeah. And this way, uh, we can also animate this light, maybe, if we want. Uh, we can add some kind of a... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, yeah. this is something that I like, like this. Let's take it there and duplicate this one and just then uh, set it... Uh, there and yeah we are fine I think that we will yeah we have only 40 minutes 45 minutes so we will be trying to do it uh, in a fast way okay so uh, transform uh, rotation proper uh, property bidder okay Let's set here, transform local rotation, and we are pretty 60, zero, okay. Let me see if this works. Duh, okay. Yeah, what I, what I forget is to save this value. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, something like that. It can be always worked better and something like this, but one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. Okay, let's take it like this and uh, just copy this transform. Uh, copy component and then when I go here, I can say, uh, let's put, oh wait. Base component values. Okay, let's see if we can base component values also here. Okay, so this this should be fine. So yeah, and right now let's go to a part of animating everything. One, two, three. Okay, so 
yeah, it it, it can be done better, but we can tune it up later. One, two, three. Let's put some music. Let me see here what we have. Uh, Sorry guys, I'm just searching some some music because I can't put any music here as we are on YouTube and we can uh how to say yeah there's copywriting issues with a lot of yeah, music yeah 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 um, so yeah you might be able to find either some um i think free music archive has quite a lot of um open license music or um i think a lot of classical is open license i think but don't yeah, quote me on that <laughs> you know uh the problem is there with uh, with YouTube that when I have uh, put some even my videos of my band that that is my own band, you know, they are my copyright music, but because they are uh, already registered on on, on uh, iTunes and, uh, and many other sites, they automatically blocked it. Like yeah. say, no, you have to pay rights to some other uh, company that I never worked with, you know, so I, like, it's, a, it, it's absurd thing. So, yeah, th this is something that, that I made uh, just for this case, just to have something to try out. Do you hear music or no? No. No, I can't hear it. Uh, can you guys hear it? You feel free to type in the chat, but I don't think we've got the the sound from it. But we can certainly see the reaction. So. Yeah, but uh, no, I think that it should be seen uh, on the chat. Uh, guys, did you hear the music? Just to know. Oh, it's just me. Okay, yeah, it's just yeah, me that can't hear it. It's just you because uh, you're on the Zoom, so I'm not. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> of course, yeah, it's yeah, just me. Uh, yeah, okay, never yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So from here we can go and create some movements of a camera, you know, like... And right now we'll be doing this thing just to sh try out. Tuning it up a little bit. Uh, just to understand a little bit of lights and what. Of course, then we will want probably. I'm asking myself if we should bring it this up. Okay, so feel like that. Okay. Oliver, people want you to dance on the stage. <laughs> Yeah. So 
Okay, so yeah, this is an idea, made idea about what can be done, and uh, let me see. Unfortunately, yeah, uh, no, one of the interesting things about this technology for me would be really like uh, being able to stream directly to Unity from any platform, you know, like on a, on a video texture. So this would open really incredible possibilities. So at, uh, in this case, I'm using a webcam for her. So she's there, yeah. So, uh, but, but it's, uh, if you could stream live, uh, that would be a really incredible thing. But I don't think that it's, uh, yeah. It's, it is a pretty complex thing. Like streaming isn't so easy to do. Um, Oliver, there's a great question here, which is, can you chroma key in multiple instances? So could you have uh, multiple musicians, each with their own camera and green yeah, screen yeah, in yeah. different locations, yeah, all yeah, in yeah. one world? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. This is a, this is a normal thing, you know, like, uh, yeah, I can do it. Uh, that's why I'm, why I'm doing it. Like I have, for example, here two graphics cards, so I can eventually put two cameras and combine uh, two two mus musicians. But but even in this case, it's like just uh, it's not like just two. Uh, yeah, because I have only two video inputs to capture. But you you could stack uh, more. Graphics cards, for example, uh, Blackmagic, uh, Decklink, I think that they have four, uh, up to four inputs, so it, it should be a, a big problem, you know. And you can eventually also use some, some uh, video switchers to mix more inputs, you know. But for example, uh, everything, what I did here in my Deckard chroma key uh, was to support also multiple instances of, and this isn't always such such an easy job, you know. When, when you have to make a plugin that that works with multiple instances, so yeah. Uh, let me see here. So yeah, I, I want just to uh, paste here. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Sorry, guys, I paste couple of value. Okay, so in this case, what is the next step in, in, in my case? What I will be doing is like creating animation. So I will create just an empty object and call it timeline. Okay, in this case, I will be just, uh, yeah, creating timeline with a girl that, uh, girl, or maybe I will be there later. So, let me see just the music. Okay, let, let me say 30 seconds to go down the, down the stairs. So I will be just creating here a main Right, okay, and then I will be just dropping it. Uh, yeah, I will be dropping here inside this timeline a few objects. One of those is, uh, is a camera. Another object is uh, my chroma key blade. Oh, sorry. Why it doesn't... Okay, chroma key played. An animation track. Okay, so... Let me see here. Screen. Okay, zoom it in. Uh, so, 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 let me... Uh, sorry. Just right now, I saw that... Uh, that sharing your view. I'm sorry about that because I was okay. So that's okay. Uh, 
Okay, and right now what I want to do is just to go, and this is a manual work and there is no any trick that I can use for doing this better. Uh, and we don't need any tricks because we want to do something manually also. So, in a timeline, I, I'm always blocking timeline. This is a good thing because you, otherwise when you are doing everything, you select another object and you are losing your timeline. So, it's an important thing to do. Uh, then I'm going here into my chroma key plane, that is my main object, and I will be just moving it up to on the stairs so that we can try it out. Let me see. Uh, I can move it. Yeah, sometimes. Navigation can be, oh my god, I have moved it, I have moved it too much. I don't know how, okay, so yeah. Uh, so as we know that she is a pretty sized like a human. I can go up there and, uh, yeah, position it somewhere here. Unfortunately, at the moment, we don't have a stairs that are moving in this. I don't like it, unfortunately, but it was impossible to do something that that can actually move. I like, uh, no, we didn't have any materials. So, from there on, I will be just animating here, select this, okay, and say this is my first keyframe. So, nothing special, and then I will go... I'm usually uh, using frame rates as a filmic. Oh. Somebody would like to, uh, someone would like to work in seconds, but uh, I'm, I'm reasoning in a filmic way, so yeah. So I will be moving here, and uh, in this case, something like that, and then just moving it, moving her down on, on the stairs. Oh, sorry. Until this point. One of the important things in this case is that I want to change my uh, type of movement. Uh, like curve, so it should be always position uh, expressed as a linear position, not curved, because otherwise it will. So let me see here. Uh, left. Uh, uh, bow tangents linear. Bow tangents linear. So here, okay, so this this should be this should work fine. So we have right now, yeah. Let's watch from here. It's like okay. It's a simple thing, nothing too special. Okay, when she comes down the stairs, so this this should be probably. Uh, let me see with the music. Yeah, one thing that you should uh, support is it automatically to import the music in a timeline. It's uh, really sometimes it's it's really important. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, this like timing should be okay. Okay, so we are there. Uh, let's move it just. Well, frame so that we come there. Okay. And then uh, from there on, we are just uh, moving her in the uh, direction of, uh, of this plane. Let me see where, where is it. Okay. So we are just moving directly. That's why I'm using a linear position because otherwise you will have just. Oh, no, so. I forgot to. I forgot to keyframe. I have here also still image that I'm using for this. Listen, because 
always uh, forgot to keyframe something. And uh, I have made this. Uh, oh, let me see. No, we. Ah, oh, it's impossible. Well, okay, okay, okay. Run. Okay. Yeah, this is. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I just said in the chat, it's like a meme. So you're really on top of it. Yeah, yeah. This is a meme. So it's like okay. <laughs> It's the new, I was in play mode the whole time. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely. <laughs> so, no, because if you look at my streams, it always happens. It always happens. I don't know how to, how to. I think that there should be something like, uh, I don't know, some kind of, uh, I would have to think about what could be done in, in this case. So yeah, uh, so we are going here, we are moving here, her, directly, like this, okay. And, but I think that I scaled her too much, okay, but never mind. Uh, okay, so, and then, we could animate a camera in the base of, uh, how we should animate camera? I'm not sure. Yeah, I think that we should animate camera so uh, with cinema sheet, but do we have cinema sheet? I, I think that I didn't have it installed. Uh, I haven't installed cinema sheet. I forgot completely about cinema sheet. Okay, never mind. Uh, we, uh, I will be just setting up uh, this camera and moving it also with. No, 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 it's better to install. Let's install. Uh, package manager, it should take a few seconds, I hope. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Okay, download, okay. So let's install it, yeah, yeah. It's not a big package. So with Cinema Machine, we can look at a person and we can uh, track it and uh, we can do many things. Okay, let's see. Oh, let, oh, let's bring it to a, let's bring it to a whole screen just to understand what is going I find this mannequin a bit. What? What you said? I find your mannequin quite threatening. <laughs> the way, like the way she moves is quite. <laughs> Has anyone seen the film um, Mars Attacks? It really reminds me of like the yeah. woman in Mars Attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that I have her always here. It's like, oh, yeah. So sometimes I'm. And also, yeah, the, what I what I like mostly when doing some cinematographic work is to use some lenses that are a little bit not too wide. So it's like I like to go a little bit, yeah, something like this. And maybe then we can play with with lenses and things like that. But. Also, probably this material should be another material because I don't like here. Uh, let's duplicate this one and just add it here and I will be just adding it to something much darker. I think that it looks better. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Or even like this, yeah. Something like, oh no. Oh, like this, okay. 
so more metallic and something j just to make it uh, and even this one we could duplicate this one it's ah, sorry uh, concrete to yeah. set those ones to something much more as we are using ray tracing so let's go to some smoothness let's turn down completely this uh, oh yeah and it Oh. No. I think that we forgot to to save. I think that we forgot to save. You know. Uh, okay. Yeah. When doing streaming and doing many things, it's a little bit. No, but I'm usually automatically save before before doing play. So I hope that I already saved something. No, I didn't say. Oh my oh, god. No! <laughs> oh no! No, I didn't say. Yeah, so this was our everything. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was like, okay. You don't say. It was a beautiful party, but it's in the past now. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't know what to say because uh, I don't know what to say, you know. I'm usually pressing always bef before uh, running the play, but right now I'm doing so many things, so, yeah. I mean, as as we said on the last stream, like you're working with not only the latest edge tech, using ray tracing, using virtual production tools, using chroma key, using renderers and real-time lighting. Um, but also streaming all this, I'm talking to you over yeah, 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 uh, Zoom yeah. chat while we stream it to YouTube. So there's a lot going on. So we're really pushing it to the limits of what it can do. Uh, but there you go. This is proof that we really do uh, stream out live. <laughs> we don't uh, know what's yeah, going to happen. This is a proof that uh, you should have some kind of uh, auto-save system. Backup system. Auto-saving can be done, but backup system like uh, i'm not sure if if there is something but uh, it i'll look into it no but no be, because it should be like something that can uh, actually save all da data because uh, for example if you save a new scene if you're working on something you know sometimes i'm working on something and i don't want to save because it's like just ex experimental thing but uh, I just want to uh, be able to, you know, like have have a backup. But if you are, for example, baking or if you are having some assets that are uh, related to a scene, you can't have that backup. So this backup should be something like, okay, I'm just exporting. Uh, yeah, it should actually, from time to time, and it, yeah, this could be done probably, even easily. Uh, it should export a package with your seed, so that if something breaks, uh, you have always last three seeds that you worked on as a packages. So everything that uh, that was in that seed, uh, you know, like. So you, you can just press it and overwrite original seed. Yeah. I should make a tool with this probably. Yeah, this could this could work probably. But but I think that this should be in Unity, so something like that. I'm suggesting. So yeah, uh, I'm sorry guys, really, uh, this was a so stupid error, and, uh, okay. But if you want, I can just remake it <laughs> in the next 10 minutes, <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know. Uh, no, something we, we, we have, yeah, yeah, it, it, mostly because I'm here, I was doing everything procedure, uh, no procedure, but everything in Unity modeling and things, so I don't have anything uh, from outside and this is my error also it's a really big big error but sorry guys i'm i really doing everything here 
No, it's okay. It happens to the best of us. Like many a time I've forgotten to save, not just in Unity, but in any program doing any work. I just get really engrossed and forget to save. Um, but yeah, don't worry. Everyone in the chat is very supportive. Um, and people discussing different assets, people saying there might be an asset that auto saves. Um, there might be an option. Also, people are saying that if you did make one, they'd be interested. So that's a potential opportunity. Um, yeah, but uh, listen, this is something that happens to every. It happened to everyone. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty normal thing. But for example, I think that even if it happens, when it happened to me, I was always, uh, maybe, yeah, I was always capable of, uh, in some way, uh, mostly for adrenaline that, that come to, <laughs> to my, like, uh, uh, to make it even better uh, than before. So, like, oh, there were some things that maybe you, you yeah, I don't know. I always like to think about that, like, okay, this is uh, something that uh, uh, that maybe have should be like that. So yeah, um, but I'm sorry because I know that you have to uh, move, and uh, yeah, it's like I don't want to, you know, like uh, you have to finish this. At 11. You've got me for another 20 minutes. Yeah, but uh, uh, I don't want to... It's really not... Uh... So, no, I, I just wanted to... I wanted to show... I, I wanted to make... The, uh, yeah, probably animation isn't, isn't lost, I think. So if we create a new uh, timeline... Let me see... See, probably with a timeline, and this is a probably uh, create empty uh, timeline. Okay, so let's create here timeline. Okay, something like that, and then we will be just switching timeline. Uh, what was that? Okay, okay, this is main timeline. Okay, so. No. Ah, okay. I have probably to assign, but but I'm not sure if this works, but yeah. Okay. No. No, it worked. Uh, no, 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 okay. This wasn't... Uh, this was a plane. Okay, yeah. Chroma key, yeah. Okay, so this was... Okay, we have this animation, so we don't have to wait. Yeah, at least that one. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so uh, second thing, yeah, and now let's see, <laughs> let's see. Oh. Okay, so yeah, at, at the end it was just one click. I, I don't know why I did do it. Okay, so uh, let's copy this slide. And this time I will be doing it. Uh, much more efficiently because I already know what I have to do. So I will be just scaling it, moving it here, uh, just rotating it a little bit. Okay, so this is that one. And okay, let's move it up. Something like that. Ah, perfect. And then, at, uh, because before I was assigning all those. Uh, uh, how to call uh, 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 this audio level trackers to all lights completely. In this case, I will be just assigning to a light. So in this case, I think that uh, I could just uh, audio uh, tracker level tracker. Okay, channel dynamic range. Okay, yeah. It was something like that. Uh, add property builder, uh, color, and let's work it out fastly. Target, transform. Uh, no, it's not transform, it's light. Uh, property, color. Okay, so we have two. We were using two colors. One was light. One was black. Okay, so this should work. 
this should aside to my light. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, it does what it should. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, it's a perfect thing. Uh, also, yeah, what we know for right now that we have added those materials uh, here is the material. So, yeah, I have to add concrete. Okay, so we have here concrete that crashed our system. No, it's, it wasn't the material. It was like, uh, no, this concrete, concrete, okay, concrete here, concrete here, concrete here, it's enough. I think that we are okay. Uh, and then we have uh, this concrete, that, uh, yeah, let's say before, because I'm not sure if, no, but it, right now it works perfectly. But it doesn't show a reflection. Why? Why it doesn't show? Uh, who knows? No. Smooth, okay, smooth. Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Okay, so, something like that. Let's add it like this. I think that this works perfectly well. And, yeah, then we have to add another light, so... So, in this case, this light should behave as the... Uh, sorry, uh, local... Uh, global... Okay, so let's move it there. Uh, local. Okay. What are the comments? I want to know comments about. <laughs> no, I think everyone's just just watching and learning. People are saying you did a great job, but uh, yeah, I think people are just sort of uh, happy to sort of wait for the scene to be rebuilt. Um, but I think because we saw the lights happening once before, we don't have to rebuild like all the lights exactly the same as before because obviously this is being recorded. No, if anyone course, wants to rewatch that yeah, part, yeah, they can. Yeah. Um, it's just any parts that would happen after that. So any, <coughs> yeah. kind of, we've kept we've kept the camera movement. So uh, okay. whatever would be the, the next step after that might be the right thing. Yes, to, of course, of course, yeah. you are right. So uh, in this case, so ah, uh, okay, uh, save. So uh, tools. I'm not sure. No, I think that probably that was one that caused uh, package manager. Cinema sheet. I, I think that maybe loading of cinema sheet was a problem. Uh, sheet. Let me see if it installed. No, it wasn't installed. Yeah, that's when when it when it went down. So we have to file a bug. In this case. Import. So yeah, here we have cinema sheet. I just wanted to have some some kind of light, you know, because uh, yeah, it's not so nice to. Okay, so cinema sheet here. Uh, we can from here on we can move, and you will see that my tracker is capable of tracking ahead of a person. So this is something that I'm using in cinema sheet. For example, uh, so I can set a camera, for example, yeah, let's create first uh, one cinema sheet camera, cinema sheet, create virtual camera, okay. So, uh, okay, so we can say to this camera that it should look at my at her okay so uh, I will be just going to here uh, composer and uh, say 
to uh, sorry, transpose. Uh, yeah, I'm always losing. Okay, follow. Look at. Okay, I'm just saying to look uh, at at my uh, chroma key here played, and I have here an object that is called head centroid head offset. So I can just set this object as a look at. Uh, okay, so you can see right now that my camera will always look. And I can even say, okay, I want this to be shown just in this uh, angle of, uh, of a screen. So when it plays, it will just go... It, she will always stay in that area. My camera will follow uh, her always w w when she is there, okay? But in this case, let's say we want to ta to keep her in the center and like in this, only this area. So if she goes away from this area, then the camera will follow, okay? You will see also that we have here this sphere that at this moment, yeah, oh, it's, it's that... Uh, we will just have to put it on another layer, it's not important uh, for for this case. Uh, timeline, okay, so we have here this timeline and uh, our camera is following. What I want to add always, something, some kind of noise, basic multiple noise and uh, handheld, normal, tele, uh, yeah, it's, it's mild, okay, so something like that. So, right now, if we turn on everything, well, okay, so you can see, you know, uh, it's... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, we, we should bring it a little bit, okay. Uh, body, okay. So we will, we can set here, mild. Let me see if this um, helps a little bit. B because I want just this camera to, to move. So you can see that right now, this camera has some kind of uh, handheld feeling to, the, to it. Also, another thing that I want here in this case is to add another object to my parent of this object that is already animated so that I can place there uh, like a camera so that I can bid this camera movement to this object. Camera tracks. So that we have all animations that are pretty, uh, how to say, uh, dynamic. Um, uh, Oliver, yeah, yeah. quick request. Um, yeah. Can you either switch off my visual stream or move me slightly to the oh, left? Okay. <laughs> because I think I'm blocking part of the inspector. I'm happy oh, for okay. you to just switch off my video feed. Yeah, yeah, I can okay. jump in with vocals um, if need be. Yeah, of course. Because the last thing I want to do is block details in Unity. <laughs> it's more okay, important yeah. that you see the settings. Okay, let's bring it a little bit small. Okay, I think that this should be... I think that should work. Uh, I think it was the inspector that I was blocking, so if you just make sure you're not changing okay, settings yeah. underneath. I should probably oh, also, okay. also oh, close this People are saying time, don't yeah. turn me off. Yeah. No, 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 I'm just, uh, just uh, <laughs> re, uh, moving here. Okay, so right now we have more space in the inspector, so yeah, this perfect. is a perfect thing. Uh, let me see. Okay, so in this case, we can, uh, one of the things that I probably want to use here, free aspect, so that we have a little bit bigger screen. And now we have here a ca uh, head, uh, no, sorry, a camera track. Okay, so this I will, I would actually want to move it a little bit far away. Something like that. So in a, my virtual camera, I will be setting up uh, to follow this object here, camera track. 
So this case it should ups 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 let me see if it why it does with that. No. But why it's I uh, know it looks like it works okay, never mind. It looks like it works on a Yeah, so I will be have, have to move this one, so let's see, something like that. But I will also want to come much closer, so yeah. Because what I actually want here, oh yeah, so <laughs> right now it... Oh my God! Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I understand why this happens, of, of course, because I have set it uh, that's the part of the song where the bass drops right and then all the visuals go crazy <laughs> yeah yeah so no uh because i have here a script that always turns my uh chroma look at camera so this thing uh went in a loop with 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 uh yeah that's because of other scripts that are just going to... So yeah, this is... We can go here and just move this camera a little bit here and... Uh, yeah. Let's see. Idea is that now we have this girl that go, uh, that is starting, but if we actually want to use a real person, a real person could actually move here. So, uh, yeah, and we even didn't turn on any lightning control. Okay, I will just copy right now this uh, head offset, where is camera track? Okay, yeah, this I have to copy. Uh, copy, copy, position, no, copy, transform, sorry, oh, copy component. And then I have just to set here, paste the uh, component values. This is the way to, to bring all the settings from before. Okay, and right now, yeah, this should work somewhat. Okay, it works. So, uh, one, 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 okay. Yeah, we have some lights here. One, two, yeah. Okay, what we don't have here right now is uh, those lights, dynamic lights that I have promised to bring them. DMX, but they are already uh, set up. They are set in a, let me see, oh my god. So right now I have a configuration of my program in, in German, I don't know why. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, Do you speak German? No, I don't speak. I, oh, okay, I don't that might read, be a problem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I will have to restart and change the language. I don't know why. Yeah, it's an open source program and it's a really good program, but you know, uh, as it as it it was made by Germans, so yeah. Sometimes you can let me see if my system works. Okay, yeah. No. Oh. So that looks great. Okay, yeah. Oh one, 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 no, wait, but uh Ah, okay, one of the... No, I don't know why it doesn't show my lights how they should be. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let me see here uh, from a screen, sorry, uh, where it was. Yeah, this is a scene. One, two, yeah, you can see that they does, doesn't follow, but I don't know why. I have to check my... DMX controls, and if everything is... No, but they work, but I don't know why. Uh, yeah, sometimes technology. Let me go there, just for a second.
Uh, Oliver, you're not showing your screen. I don't know if you intend to. Uh, it's okay if not. I think he's just checking the light. I don't think that they work. Yeah, something went wrong. Uh, okay, probably I don't want to. One, two, one, two, no, start. One, two, one, two, no, nothing, nothing works. Okay, never mind. We can use it like this, even so. It's not. A I'll tell you what. Problem. Yeah. What What I think would be a, a grand finale. Not that we're. Yeah. I have to wrap up about yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, but yeah. you can carry on, Oliver. But what I would like to see is uh, the lights are responding to uh, real time uh, sound input. So if they can respond to music, and if you can go where your mannequin is. It'll yeah, be yeah, like yeah, you're yeah, on the escalator, course, right? Of course, of course, yes, 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 yes. In theory? Yeah, so uh, I will be just uh, turning... Oh, okay, let me see. I will be turn, uh, turning right now timeline into a loop so that we can uh, wrap around the loop, okay, so that we can see it more times. I'll be just deactivating some... Uh, okay, something like this, and I have to... Deactivate this track guides and yeah, I will be going there. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll put it on the full screen. Ah, music. Let's see where is the music. Uh, da, da. One, two. Where is the music? Okay. hear you yeah yeah i hope that this uh, shows a little bit the chat yeah the chat is blowing up oliver people yeah. love it uh let me see there's oliver okay yeah okay great uh, yeah thank you guys uh, no uh Nice thing about this is also that, uh, for example, right now I'm playing the music uh, that is fixed, but this can also react to a uh, to a real played music. Let me see if I can switch here in some way. Uh, I'm not sure how I can do it. Uh, no, it's uh, it's a pretty complex thing. No, uh, so if I, for example, take. Uh, Take my instrument here. Wait a second. So 
and if I put this in play, it will react also to a, to a music that is played re, uh, in real time. So uh, if I, I don't know. So, uh, let me see. Uh, but I'm not there, so yeah, it's impossible to see. Uh, no, you, you can see here, probably here. So that if, when I play my instrument, it will practically react on the on the music, even if I hope. This is an idea like about and then you can feed many many other things uh, and, uh, you know like this should be a really probably uh, when I was uh, proposing this idea it was like okay it's like just few hours <laughs> of a, of a workshop but at the end uh, yeah it's a little bit uh, longer. Even uh, also because you have to speak, and also because if you lose something because you didn't say. Yeah, oh yeah, so um, it becomes some worse. people in the chat are saying save the scene, which is a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. The chat has exploded. Everyone's very impressed with like the scene, um, the interaction, the music, but also also your bass playing. Like a lot of people are commenting on the on the instrument playing. So. That's really impressive. I didn't know you had like, so you have a very wide repertoire of skills. Yeah, no, uh, you probably didn't know that uh, this bass that I was playing, it uh, actually it was made by me. It, I, I made it from. from no. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. From scratch. Yeah, yeah, from scratch, from completely from scratch. So yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, my mind is blown. Right what? Yeah, it was uh, back in, something like ten years ago. Yeah, so it's. Uh, I had this passion of making uh, musical instruments. And, uh, I made a few of them, something like ten, ten basses and guitars. Yeah, that that was my passion. <clears throat> but back in, at the time, uh, you know, I just did it for a passion. Yeah. I had a bigger passion for for virtual reality, so yeah. I didn't. Um, so some people are saying that because I have a green background, they're asking if you can put me in the scene. <laughs> it's quite. A, it's uh, a good point. Uh, you probably don't have time for it now, but I guess actually, in theory. Actually, actually, in theory, uh, right now I have a problem. Probably because I uh, I don't know how to feed the. Uh, no, 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 no. I no. I don't know how to feed this uh, from here to 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 internet because I have here a really complex setup. So I have here OBS that is uh, reading what comes from uh, Zoom. Then I have two uh, eight minis that are two mixers. One is used for overlays for all those like when I'm making all those command, comments. Uh, and uh, then I have, uh, uh, yeah, many cameras. So everything, uh, it's like I would have to take this Zoom feed and, and to try in some way to, to, to put it, but it's not so easy at, at this moment because I, I would have to rewire everything. Yeah, I don't think it would be straightforward to do now. I think maybe it's something we can do in the future because that would be very interesting to try and get us presenting on the same. No, um, of in course, the same of virtual. course. Uh, that's why cool. I was saying at, at at the start, I was saying about uh, how it would be uh, nice to have some kind of a streaming. And actually, it can be done right now. Uh, there are devices like Blackmagic, uh, from Blackmagic always, uh, that are accepting the streams, direct streams, and uh, converting them to to a video file in in the in 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 computer. Uh, so, and then uh, the last question, which there's a lot of, 
is uh, people are saying, when will the chroma key be available? Because we all want to do what you just did. Um, and a lot of people are saying, if you need beta testers, they're very happy to, to be beta testers. <laughs> uh yeah uh, i think that i ho i'm hoping that it will be really in, in the weeks like one week or something at least that better test uh, possibility it is being right now tested uh, also by people from from uh, you know like uh, really uh, big professionals in in, 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 uh, in the industry. So, yeah, uh, but uh, it's still too complex to work, so I, I have to make just some, 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 some explanations how to use it and how to make it easier to use, so, yeah. So what you're saying is in a few weeks' time, when the chroma key is available, yeah. people will be able to follow these two lessons we've done and create their very own virtual background. Of course. Whether that's a Eurovision stage with an escalator or, I mean, I do a lot of um, kind of costuming and um, live action role play, which involves like wearing armor. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. very geeky. Yeah. So you could make any kind of virtual background, cyberpunk, like, you know, a forest like i mean lights work really well especially so i think cyberpunk would look great um yeah super exciting like i'm definitely going to be getting it as soon as it comes out like I yeah absolutely a lot of yeah, yeah this should be any uh, it should be any problems and, uh i think that it's it should be pretty easy to use you know i hope but but you know chroma key isn't something that is easy to to do well if you want to do it really well, so uh, I still uh, I still don't know how to use some of the chroma keyers out there that are almost industry standard. So, uh, and from from that standpoint, I think that my even works much better because. But probably it's me. It's only me because I I know how to use it and I know what are the the quick. So I, I'm not sure. But once it's out, you could release tutorials and videos on how to kind yeah, of, of, course, of course, tweak of course, it yeah. and like what settings to try out. So I'm sure everyone who's watching will be keen to kind of get their hands on it and yeah, start yeah. playing with it and, and testing things out. But yeah, but uh, we also it, understand the need. If to you guys make want to easy. also to start using Chroma Key, uh, last time I did a short tutorial on how to make a simple Chroma Keyer in, in Unity. So it's like okay, it's good for starting. Uh, if you want to make something that is, uh, you know, to have something that is uh, more professional, then okay. In the meantime, use that one, and then uh, when when you get uh, my Chroma key, then you, then you can use that one. You know, I think that it, this is the best way. So just. And, and also, if you want uh, some kind of better testing, yeah, write me on the Twitter maybe and uh, we can arrange it. Yeah, I would definitely advise reaching out to Oliver on Twitter if, if any of you are on Twitter. There seems to be a lot of interest in the comments about beta testing. So there's a lot of, um, we are professionals, we are ready. <laughs> Please let us try and use it. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I understand the need for like, you don't want to necessarily release something to the wider world when it's not the easiest thing to use because then you end up getting a lot of feedback yourself and you have to reach out to a lot of people to walk them through it which is very time consuming so as someone who interacts you know with developers on daily basis i understand that like if i put out something that isn't very clear it's very time consuming yeah, so yeah. um yeah i understand the need to kind of polish it, make it as clear as possible, make as much documentation as possible, then release it. But yeah, the people the, the people in the comments are keen. So yeah, okay. yeah do reach out everyone. If of you're, course, if of you're... course, of course, guys. Uh, okay. I'm sorry that I, I wanted to watch all the comments, but yeah, unfortunately, I will be just scrolling them. Uh, and, and yeah, you have to go, I know, because I can even stay a little bit more and try out <laughs> other things, but yeah, it's that. Uh, so thank you really, Antonia. It was great pleasure <laughs> to 
Thank you. It's always it's always a, a great pleasure um, coming on the stream. And I'm very keen to go try these things myself as well uh, and try the Chroma Kia uh, when it's available. But until then, I'm going to use the instructions in the last video. Um, I've already got a green screen, as you can see. Um, I used to have green hair, actually. And one of the reasons I don't have green hair is anymore is I wanted to try green screen and it was difficult. So I have orange hair now. Um, so I'm going <laughs> to try that, that kind of stuff myself. But I'm um, afraid that yeah. our orange hair is a pretty tricky to. No, 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 maybe not. Oh no! Uh, no, no, no! Oh no! no. What, no. what hair color do I need? Like black? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no! I th no, I think that your hair should work pretty fine. Oh, okay. we, oh, we can. Uh, wait a second. We can even test it. Uh, let me. See. Uh, Ooh. Oh, why? Are you going to put a wig on the mannequin? <laughs> No, I just wanted to make a screenshot, but I don't know. Press out to show hard beating controls. But I, I don't want to show. Oh. Uh, okay, like this. Okay, so I have been able to copy, save as, display. Yeah. Uh, let me save this one. No, I just wanted to to see how how well can it work but of course we have here a microphone that can be okay so let's see uh file you see okay well, i saved this one pictures okay and Tony. okay so i'm just bringing it here so here we have your picture okay and then we can just feed it into uh, my uh, chroma key plane. Okay, so in this case it's just like uh, source type, render texture, and I will be setting here. Okay, so this is Antonio. Okay. But you can see, because I was using before uh, that uh, vertically, uh, yeah, so portrait mode, render texture, okay. So right now I can just try to fix this uh, image. Uh, let me see, Antonio, just load this one and to select, a, no. This is very surreal. Huh? Oh my God, let me see, no. Uh, yeah, so I have to, just to, yeah, this is a pretty. You can see that there are too many casts of, but also uh, there are, in this case, I could play with pre, some kind of, pre uh, setting but it's a really hard thing to do because it's not a good quality green screen so yeah it's a little bit uh, uh, no 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 sorry mate key I have to turn off this oh, of course I'm, I'm stupid I did a stupid error so Mostly, I have to take those uh, greens and uh, uh, just search for some green that is good because it's something like that. And then go drop down this and yeah, but uh, this quality of image is really... I haven't really optimized my lighting either, so it's quite like shadowy yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, it's shadow. Uh, uh, you have, for example, and my mic it, is very, yeah. you know, a different color and like right in front of me. So yeah, it's not really. We haven't really optimized it, it for this. Uh, yeah, no, it could be uh, done better, but you know, it's and also the, there's a JPEG art uh, like compression artifacts, so that they. This image doesn't have a, but at the end, I, I'm not sure why. I oh, know. Okay, let 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 me. Okay. 
<laughs> one more thing um yeah. so people are interested in getting in touch because you said you know if anyone's interested in maybe being yeah. a beta tester or i don't know getting an update when things are available to get in touch um i point people to your twitter but your dms are closed apparently people can't message so is there a better way to get in touch or should people sort of tweet and uh mention like at you or is that the easiest way is it closed? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I, I don't yeah, I think your message is people are saying that they're getting a, a can't be messaged, like you can't message Oliver on Twitter kind uh, of reply okay, when I they will, try. I will then check, check this and try to... Yeah, I, I should check that one and, and try to, uh, yeah, to fix it, probably. Or you, you can always contact me on my... Uh, or also YouTube at the end, you know. You can message me on YouTube. You can write in, in the comments. Okay, write in the comments. Okay, I have found the solution. <laughs> write in the comments. Sorry. Comment and subscribe. That's what people always say. Yeah, always subscribe. <laughs> always and, and share the word because... Uh... And like and comment. <laughs> okay, so right now I'm getting you. Okay, so I needed to have some, uh, to do some pre-correction of image because... You always have to do some kind of pre-correction because uh, and in this case of course this part can be fixed because there are too many blue there is too many blue and, and uh, no it can be f yeah but you can do too much so it is important always for chroma keying, it is important the source and source lighting and, and, and many things that are really hard to do otherwise. So here I have despilling and mask power. Okay, mask power, yeah, I could drop. You can see here, for example, I have this kind of a uh, I could actually uh, generate also normal map. So this kind of a thing generates some kind of a normal map that can later be used in materials. And I can also, you know, like fix some issues with borders. You know, I'm not sure. I will have to... Yeah, you can see right now that I'm blurring some kind of borders and things like that. So it's... Uh, but the source is important. If a source footage is not good, you can do too much. Antonia, for, but I mean, the fact, me... the fact that you part, partly got me in there in like, yeah. you know... If completely impromptu without any planning or anything is quite impressive. And I think it's mostly my microphone, no, actually. Uh, actually, no, but w we didn't do one thing. That was uh, like, uh, if you took uh, just a picture of your background, even with your microphone, okay, your microphone moves with the lighting, but if you took that picture and we put that one into our sample, then uh, w w we could have much better result. So... Yeah, this is uh, one of the things that that are that is really important about chroma key. For the difference, yeah, yeah, difference map. Yeah, yeah. That well, was, that I'll was. give that a go. I'm very keen to go try out all these techniques and make my own crazy Eurovision yeah. backgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty great. I told you, I, but I, yeah, I, I will. I will send you to today my uh, new version. So yeah, if you want to test it, so no problem. Definitely. It's nearly midnight here, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Definitely send it to me. Go to oh, sleep. Geez. Go to sleep. They say work-life balance, but when it's this much fun, like, this isn't work. This is great. This is, like, this is wizardry. This is sorcery, is oh. what this is. So I'm very keen to try it. Like, it's really <laughs> exciting. Well, why, why do you think I have a green screen? Like, I've always wanted yeah. to try this. So, yeah, very keen. I have Hopefully, right now like, a problem because I also wanted to, to try some green screen behind me, but, uh, you know, I don't want to even to cover all, all those nice, uh, you know, like <laughs> this technology with the green screen. So, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, 
Well, thank you, really. Uh, thank you all, my friends. Uh, thank you for coming. I hope uh, that you had all had a good time and that you learned something at the end because uh, this is what it's all about, like learning something. And we all are learning here. It's like uh, I have learned today that I have to save, always to think about saving when I'm in the live stream. Uh, and I hope that everybody learned something. I can see right now in the comments, uh, we have learned that Oliver has to save files. No, I think people are saying that they're, yeah, they're excited, they're keen. Some people are watching at 1.30 in the morning and they're still excited to go try this, which yeah. is, I think that speaks volumes to how, like, okay. engaging this technology is. Like, it's great fun to use. So, yeah, I think everyone's going to be keeping a close eye on um, when the when the Chroma Kia is available. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> there seems to be a lot of enthusiasm to to yeah get get their hands on that and, and to try it out so yeah thank you all so much for coming um do let us know if there's anything else you know you want to see in future um i don't have any immediate um plans to be back on the stream but if there's something else that would work really well for us to present together like let us know we're really keen to hear feedback um i think it'd be really cool if we can get me and oliver presenting from our separate geographic locations in one virtual world that would be pretty neat so that would be something we could try um, but yeah, thank you, Oliver, for sharing your knowledge. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm sure everyone in the stream really appreciates it. Um, and also for a sneak peek into your musical skills, because I really enjoyed that personally, uh, seeing you kind of like walking down the escalator and performing, I think is my favorite part. So yeah. <laughs> thanks no, for that. Actually, I, um, the first yeah, idea it's really was, been a lot of fun. was to re really to play something, but you know, uh, I don't like playing by myself. You know, I like playing with, with musicians, so maybe... Uh, in the future, we will make uh, uh, we will be capable to do a real concert in some way, or something, you know. So yeah. Well, as as soon as the world opens up again, I'm very keen to do like a being in the same location yeah. virtual concert. I think that'd be amazing fun. I'd definitely be up for that. <laughs> but yeah, thank you for having me. Thank, oh, you thank you all for coming thank you, and Antonia. thank you most of all to Oliver it's, for sharing was really, your knowledge. Uh, yeah, let me thank you really much and you, you were great and uh, yeah, you're such a uh, like company and everybody was a company but you know when I'm working it's much easier to to hear somebody and to read all the messages so uh yeah uh, also guys uh, what i wanted to add uh, that uh, i will be doing s few next streams with some professionals uh, mostly from industrial art and magic and unity and i hope that you will follow uh, those streams because they should they will be pretty interesting about uh, uh, they will treat many of of these new technologies in virtual production. Yeah. Thank you, Antonia. Really, thank you very much. And uh, if you uh, didn't subscribe to my channel, subscribe right now. And uh, yeah. hope to see you soon, everybody. Antonia. It was great to see you. I hope to see you again pretty soon. I hope so. Thanks a lot. Bye bye, bye. everybody. Okay, we 